back into that hungry hungry hippo and we got empoleon empoleon's gonna go gobble up this hungry hungry hippo here feed for our dragonite oh they swap immediately into lapras and we go into our empoleon empoleon's just gonna run right through this lapras guys aggressively swapping a talent flame and here we go we got an answer for talent flame guys Welcome everyone. In this video, we are featuring Empoleon, one of my favorite Pokemon for Ultra Premier League, guys. It is just a staple in this Ultra Premier League. Paired with Dragonite, uh, it makes for a very, very, very strong core, guys. And uh, we've got Gengar as a safe swap. Gengar can also double as a closer. Uh, it just depends on the uh, situation that you find yourself in. But guys, this is my favorite team for Ultra Premier. Uh, this is, I find myself going back to this team time and time again. You know, uh, from dropping and, and uh, raiding, you know, trying to find some uh, fun teams for you guys is, uh, can be challenging at times, but I do enjoy it. I enjoy bringing you guys fresh content, but uh, yeah, I found myself dropping a little bit, just trying some different teams out, and um, I had to dust off my old uh, go-to team, guys, for the Ultra Premier League. And it consists of Dragonite in the lead. You can run Dragon Breath. I've been, I've been uh, rocking Dragon Tail lately. I like it. I like both. Um, you can run either one. Uh, they're, you know, just just a matter of preference. Not that I pre prefer Dragon Tail over Dragon Breath. Um, I just, uh, I get used to the uh, timing on it a little bit, you know? And uh, we've got Gengar here, guys. You know I love Gengar. You guys know Gengar is one of my absolute favorite Pokemon. It just hits so darn hard. You gotta absolutely save those shields for it, but oh my gosh, love this Pokemon. And I do like Sludge Bomb for Ultra Premier, guys. Um, if you run Gengar in Ultra Premier, you'll want Sludge Bomb just for the added coverage. For those Obstagoons uh, that you might run into, those Umbreons, um, Sludge Bomb is a great coverage move to have. If you run it in Open Ultra, you'll want Shadow Ball. But uh, we're rocking Sludge Bomb. Without further ado, guys, let's get into these battles. And guys, if you haven't already, do remember to subscribe. It provides a massive help to the channel, keeps you informed on when I bring you new content. Let's see what we got up first here. Venusaur. Okay, fantastic lead for our Dragonite. Oh, they swap immediately into Lapras, and we go into our Empoleon. Empoleon's just going to run right through this Lapras, guys. Um, we resist all of their charge moves. We resist their fast moves. Lapras can just do nothing to Empoleon, guys. So we're going to farm up, get a nice healthy farm on this, build up to two drill pecs. We're going to get off this first one. And uh, see what they want to do. Oh, that's that's interesting. They shield. No, uh, most people will not shield over Lapras. Lapras is incredibly tanky, guys. And uh, they do let that second one go through. Okay, so we're just going to build right back up again. I wonder why they shielded that. That leads me to believe that they could possibly be weak to Empoleon in the back. Um, we're not shielding anything. They go right into Venusaur, and we got a drill peck ready for this thing, guys. We're going to hit him with a nice hefty drill peck on our way out. There you go. And uh, go right into our Dragonite. Dragonite um, is a very dominant matchup up against Venusaur. You just have to be careful for any potential sludge bombs. And uh, we do let that one go through. Dragonite can tank one sludge bomb. But um, uh, they, they do add up. It does have stab on it. So uh, we just fast move that Venusaur down. And I would anticipate them bringing back in that Lapras. And they do. We're going to get off this uh, Dragon Claw. I was hoping that it would take it out, but it wasn't quite enough. So we got we to gotta get the other one off. Uh, this Lapras has a lot of stored energy. And um, they do shield that. Interesting. Interesting. They, they don't want to go down with loaded energy. It, it makes sense. It makes sense. But they wasted both their shields on their bulky Lapras. That is interesting. And uh, so they do take us out. We go in with our Gengar. We've got two shields for this. And uh, Gengar with... With shield advantage is an absolute monster next to unstoppable. They come in with a Charizard and we got a Sludge Bomb ready for this Charizard. Yeah, Sludge Bomb hits hard coming from a Gengar. It does have stab and oh my goodness, that nearly one shots. That is fantastic. We're going to let this uh, Dragon Claw go through. Gengar can tank one. 
and uh, we're just gonna shadow claw this thing down and uh, they saw, they see the writing on the wall and that is gonna be a good game, guys. Gengar just might be the best closer in the Ultra League, guys. Let me know if you can think of a better one. Let me know in the comments. Let's see what we got up next here. Venusaur, another Venusaur lead. Very interesting. Okay, so uh, as we know, Dragonite has a very dominant matchup up against Venusaur. Like I said, you do have to watch out for Sludge Bombs. You can tank one. It depends on the situation. Um, might even be worth a shield in some situations. But uh, yeah, we do get that Dragon Claw through. They did build up to a sludge bomb, so we are gonna let that go through. Like I said, we can tank one, and they aggressively swap into Talonflame, and here we go. We got an answer for Talonflame, guys. And Polion is just gonna eat this thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Talonflame can't do anything really to Empoleon. They do hit us with a flame charge. That is neutral with our steel typing. Um, so we're just gonna look to waterfall this thing all the way down. Uh, we will shield up a second flame charge. It has been boosted. And uh, we're going to come out of this matchup with loaded energy, guys. We got back-to-back -back drill pecs just in case they want to bring that Venusaur back in. They are waiting the switch timer a little bit. And they do bring it back in. That's all right. We're going to get off this first one. Venusaur can tank one drill pack. So, oh, wow, they let it go. All right, interesting. We got a uh, Hydro Cannon ready for this... Uh, Drill, or uh, Escadrill. I, when I saw that typing in the midst of the battle, I thought for sure it was a Stunfisk, but it's a, it's an es Escadrill. Estra X, oh my gosh. Excadrill. I can speak. <laughs> they do try to get off a drill run. We do shield that up. That would one-shot Gengar. Uh, we build up to back-to-pack -to -pack, uh, Shadow Punches here. I'd imagine they, yeah, they do shield. Uh, drill, Escadrill is uh, pretty glassy. And uh, we're going to get off a second one here. This will do quite a bit of neutral damage, and it does. And we're going to try and get to one more, but they are at a uh, drill run. This will be one-shotting Gengar. That poison typing, it is massively effective. So we're just going to come back in and Dragon Tail that Eska drill down, and that is going to be a good game. Man, we are having fun. We got Dragonite finishing off Steel types. We are having fun. Give a subscribe if you guys haven't already. Provides a massive help to the channel. Let's see what we got up next here. Charizard, all right. Oh, they aggressively swap into a Gallade and we go right into our Empoleon. This is a tricky matchup because we resist the confusions, um, but their charge moves do hit hard, guys. And uh, we do correctly shield up that close combat. That would just about one shot Empoleon, guys. And we're just gonna fast move down. They have been debuffed with that close combat. Um, I got a little nervous, so I, I just wanted to get rid of that thing. I didn't want to have to shield up another close combat. So uh, we did throw energy. That's okay. Venusaur comes back in, and we get to a drill pack. All right, this will deal super effective damage to a Venusaur. It, it, it can tank one, tank, yeah, but they do shield. Very interesting. Uh, they must be weak to Empoleon in the back, but I don't think we're going to be able to hang on and uh, not willing to go down another shield. So we are going to let this Empoleon go down. And um, we're going to wait down a switch timer here, anticipating an aggressive swap. And they, then we are going to go back. Oh, we go into Gengar. Okay. Um, that makes sense because with our poison typing, we do resist their grass, uh, grass type attacks. And Gengar can tank a uh, frenzy plant. And they come back in with that Charizard. We are resisting these fire spins. So we're going to get off a quick Dragon Claw, see what they want to do. It would chunk away a little bit, and they decide to no-shield that. That's okay. Charizard um, does have access to Dragon Claw, which would be super effective, and we are going to shield that up. And we're going to look to build up to another Dragon Claw here, and uh, they do beat us to it. Can uh, Dragonite hang on here? I think we can, guys. We hang on with a little with a little bit of HP as that Charizard goes down. We do have Dragon Claw ready for this Venusaur here, guys. And uh, this is going to chip away quite a bit. That's not bad. And uh, we're going to look to build up one more before we go down. They can't farm us down, so they got to throw their energy here to get rid of us, or we will get to another Dragon Claw. And then we come back in with our Gengar guys, and we can just Shadow Claw that thing right down, and that is going to be a good game. This team is so dominant, guys. Let me know in the comments what do you think of this team. Have you tried it yet in the uh, Ultra Premier League? Let me know in the comments. But um, 
Yeah, I had so much fun with this team. Let's see what we got up next here. We got our Dragonite and a Hippowdon. All right. Shout out to the Spice running Ice Fang. So we go right into our Gengar. That Ice Fang would just eat away at our Dragonite. That would be super effective with our Dragon typing, or Dragon flying typing, double super effective. They do get off a Weather Ball Rock and go right into a Scrafty. And this is why I like Sludge Bomb and the Ultra Premier, guys. This is gonna do heavy neutral damage if they don't shield. Oh man, they don't shield that, okay. They probably thought we had Shadow Ball. We got back to back here though. I'd imagine this has to get the shield. And oh man, they let it go down. They are they are uh, riding on their Hippowdon, I suppose. We get to another Sludge Bomb, guys. This has to get the shield. This It would be crazy to not shield this. That would be a heavy new... Oh my gosh, they don't shield. They are saving their shields for next season. It's quite clear. We're going to let our Gengar go down and um, wait the switch timer down and look to come into Dragonite. Uh, we're waiting this down because I'm anticipating an aggressive swap back into that Hungry Hungry Hippo. And we got Empoleon. Empoleon's going to gobble up this Hungry Hungry Hippo here, guys. Look at that chunk away. Oh my goodness. We are resisting those Ice Fangs. And they do have access to Earth Power, so we're just going to play it safe and shield that up. And I'm glad we did, guys. We're just going to Waterfall all the way down. That does super effective damage with that Ground Typing. We got back-to-back... Uh, drill packs here for this Venusaur. This will be doing super effective damage. And they finally shield, my goodness. Empoleon putting the team on its back. We get to another drill pack, guys. And uh, even if they do shield, we can waterfall down. They saw the writing on the wall. They let it go. And that is going to be yet another good game, guys. Lots of fun. I like the Hippowdon Spice, guys. Uh, I wish I had one for Ultra League with that new uh, Weather Ball Rock. Um, let me know if you guys have one. Let me know in the comments. All right, but we're met with an S Cavalier. Not the best matchup. We're gonna go into Gengar and see what they have in the back. And we draw a Shadow Snorlax. Okay, this is why I like Sludge Bomb yet again, guys. I know I'm beating a dead horse, but we're about to see how much damage that does to a thick, tanky Snorlax, guys. Look at how much damage that did. Yes, it is Shadow, but still, my goodness. And. We're going to try and call the bait here, or no, I'm getting ahead of myself, that's the, they, they take us out, that, just that shadow lick damage just does so much, but uh, we go into Empoleon, and right here, okay, yeah, now I remember, yeah, we tried to call the bait because the logical move would be to go body slam and then uh, have some more farm for your S Cavalier, but they went straight superpower. And uh, they're going to come back in with that S-Cav. We go into our Dragonite. They go into a Gyarados. Running Dragon Breath, guys. So this is not looking good. That Dragon Breath is really digging in. It does super effective damage to us with our Dragon typing. They do shield up our Dragon Claw. We're just going to try and chunk away and build up here. We, did, we have to shield everything. Because even a resisted Aqua Tail would bring us too low. And because this Dragon Breath is just so oppressive. We do get to another Dragon Claw. I'd imagine they shield because they're, yeah, they, they need to get rid of uh, our Dragonite here, guys. And uh, it's just not looking good. I don't think it's going to happen, guys. Um, they're going to take us out. We're, we got to let this one go. Um, and Polion is the win condition, but it is super low, guys. We're just, we got to farm down and get to two Hydro Cannons. We got one. But our Empoleon is so low, guys. I don't know if we can pull this one out. Maybe if it was just a little bit healthier, we could get to that one and they take us out. That is going to be a good game. Well played to this battler, guys. Um, I had a lot of fun with this team, guys. Uh, we had a nice little 4-1 set there. Um, like I said, this is one of my, this is one of my go-to teams for Ultra Premier. I think it's important to have a team a couple of teams that you're super comfortable with for each league that you uh, play in, guys. It's super important because if you fall behind a little bit trying out different team comps, it's nice to have that one or, or two teams that you can really fall back on and get some consistent wins with. Uh, and this is one of my uh, go-to teams, guys. Uh, such a strong core between Dragonite and Empoleon. Um, we run Gengar on the, uh, as our switch, a safe swap, because it has neutral matchups with just about everything. Um, 
and it hits so darn hard. You just gotta save those shields for it because it is very glassy. And um, yeah, we're able to pull off a four and one. Very nice. Lots of fun in the Ultra League. I can't wait for Element Cup, guys. If you haven't seen, I did my top three best teams for the Element Cup. Link in the description if you haven't yet seen it. But uh, for now, we'll leave it there, guys. As always, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.